Okay, we're gonna fish this creek today. I didn't do any videos during the month of September. It was sort of nice to have that off. But I'm back to my video journal and uh, we're gonna start on this little creek. A lot of fish taking probably terrestrials or small um, subsurface insects over here. Air temperature is about 60 degrees. It is a cloudy um, day with the blustery breezes. I'm using the AirStage Fujiru um, 330 by 5 um, on this creek. And we'll see what we can do. There's a little one. A little brown. There we go. A lot of fish in this pool, but uh, it's a wading pool for campers, and I think they've, they're very, very wary. But I got up far enough in my cast that I was able to entice this fellow. Nice brown. Yeah, really nice brown, about 13 inches. Anyway, these last couple of fish I've taken on a black Ishigaki uh, Kabari because the water is clear and the fish are quite skittish. Here we go. Another one. I don't use rods in the uh, 320, 330, 340 range very often, but I really enjoy this rod. Um, the AirStage Fujiru 330 5.5. That's a nice brown, huh? It casts beautifully, just like its big brother, the 360. And uh, it's got good, it's got good uh, power in the lower sections to be able to handle good sized fish. Nice fish, good size brown in this small water. Yeah, probably 14 inches. Yeah, big boy. Come here. Look at him. Come here, come here. Get my, yeah, big, big fish. See if I can get my fly out. There you go. Very good.
lot of fun. Fish that size on a stream like this. Um, and this rod is just, I think is just beautiful. Um, for a non-zoom rod in the 320 to 340 range, it's my absolute favorite. Another nice sized fish right there underneath those branches. Let's see if we can bring him over here. Another probably 14 incher. Very nice. Thank you. Excellent. There we go. Quite a bit littler than the last couple. go. The guy. Sorry about that, pal. Nice. I was sight fishing for him in these long open runs. Or pools. Um, you can I typically sight fish. If I can get away with it. That's a bigger fish. Uh oh, oh, he's caught on a snag. Sorry about that, fella. There you go. Good job. So this one was caught on a Peacock Futsu Kavari. In fact, the last couple were. And can't tell is the line caught around his maxilla? No. Not now. Gotcha. Oh, gotta keep you off the rock. Come on. Come on. Gotta keep your head away from those rocks. There you go. So I changed to a white Takayama just because I wanted to. And this fellow I could see in the shallows. And uh, he took it right up there. There we go. 
I don't fish with surface flies much anymore. But uh, when I get into a situation like this, I'll oftentimes put on a foam ant. And that's what I did to get this guy and watched him come up and take it. Um, I fished for about 25 or 30 years uh, western fly fishing and mainly doing dry fly fishing and uh, I just don't really care for dry fly fishing much anymore except on occasion particularly like this terrestrials they can be sort of fun particularly when you're sight fishing the individual fish but there's another one another nice brown taken on the ant the little foam ant And of course, uh, ants can be very successful, just like we've had here in the last couple minutes. Free fish in, what, three minutes? Very nice fish. Well, it's 2.30. I started at 12.45. I think I'm going to end here. Um, I used to fish this creek a lot. It's excellent. But over the last two summers, uh, uh, all the COVID campers have sort of ruined it, at least for me. Um, used to could come up here and really not see a lot of people. But uh, now there's new campsites. Uh, they've torn up the vegetation it's really sort of sad but so i just come up here in the late fall like this when the campers are gone well thanks for coming along and uh, i'll see you next time